Welcome to the Maxwell Leadership Executive Podcast, where our goal is to help you increase your reputation as a leader, increase your ability to influence others, and increase your ability to fully engage your team to deliver remarkable results. Hi, I'm Perry Holly, a Maxwell Leadership Facilitator and Coach. And I'm Chris Cody, Executive Vice President with Maxwell Leadership. Welcome and thank you for joining. As we get started, I'd love for you to visit maxwellleadership.com slash podcast, and there you can download our learner guide, or you can uh, see our blog that Perry writes that's tied to different content pieces, places for you to just receive content and add value to you. We'd love for you to visit that site. Well, today's topic is titled, Are You a Climber or a Connector? Yeah, baby. I love this. I'm super excited about our conversation today. Which are you? Um, I am a connector. connector you are. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I desire to climb, but I, I, I have a natural... Um, pull towards connecting with people. You do. This is a concept that John teaches where uh, a climber who is someone that's focused on advancing themselves and climbing up that ladder um, and a connector is focused on the team and the connecting and advancing the team as a whole. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a, there's a big difference. between. Well, I like what you just said though, that you, kind of an, as a leader, you're kind of naturally bent a little bit toward climbing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's not climbing. It's not that bad, except if you're not doing the other part. So yes, that's know, correct. Yeah, yeah that's that. good. So, yeah. So self-aware leaders, the idea here was that you, you put, um, the team ahead of your own career advancement. But as we're saying, it's your career advancement is important to you and, and that I do want to advance my career in leadership. I do want to climb the ladder in the organization, but you can tell leaders who are for their team, and leaders that want something from their team, and that you're you're really you're trying to connect with people. Uh, I think we just share the I kind of go back and forth with you today about yeah. what are the characteristics of a climber versus the, what would be the difference of being a connector, and maybe give a couple practical ideas around. It's okay to want to be advanced uh, in the in your career for sure, but are you doing it with the team or on just for yourself? Yeah, I love this. So the first thing um, that I want to jump into here is climbers. Like I just mentioned, think vertically, right? Like up the ladder where connectors think horizontally um, and kind of out with the team. So climbers are actually very aware of the pecking order, right? Mm -hmm. They're very aware of who's ahead of them on the standings or the organization chart, whatever that might be. I love that we threw standings in there. We both love sports and competitive there. Um, connectors are focused on moving over to where the people are and helping them as a unit succeed and move forward. And so they put the good of the team ahead of their own personal gain. Yeah, and, and if you do that, if the, the team is growing and producing and that, you're gonna get, uh, you get the vertical eventually there, but you, you it, I think if you have the focus the other way, it, uh, it gets problematic. Another characteristic that uh, climbers focus on position mm -hmm. where connectors focus on relationship. And this is pure five levels of leadership, yeah. level one versus level two. And uh, you know, leaders that focus on position value their own uh, progress. They value their own advancement versus where the team is. They tend not to find about level one leaders position. I have the title. I tend to focus on being the boss. And we just talked about that a few weeks ago yeah. versus being the leader. And so I think as a, a when you're focusing on relationships, you now are moving your influence to another level. Your, your level one, your position does give you a little influence. It comes with that. People follow you because they have to. But level two says, nah, I'm going to build my influence through relationship with you. And now people follow me because they want to. How much better is that for the, for the team? Well, I love, I'm going to do a little play on words here. When Perry was just talking about, you know, connectors focus on relationships. Remember, you can also you know, connectors can focus on connecting. What I, right, what I mean by that is yeah. uh, we don't necessarily, oftentimes when we hear the word relationships, we think very time consuming. Uh, I gotta, you know, I gotta basically bear everything in, that, in my soul. And I, that's not what we're talking about, right? There are ways to connect with your team and your people uh, in a way that's not as we would sometimes feel like that is quote unquote, a deep relationship. And so uh, just sitting there listening to you, thinking about that, and a little bit of play on the words. So uh, the next one is climbers value competition and connectors value cooperation. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a little bit of a challenge for me. I value both, mm -hmm. right? And that's why I, I, and I said I do have some natural tendencies that go back and forth. But climbers can develop a win-at-all-cost mindset and connectors choose instead to use their relationships to foster the cooperation 
of others and they get the buy-in from the team yeah. right as they're working through Richard, that can you be competitive yes okay yeah. <laughs> i was sitting there because as i was talking okay. about this i was thinking i was like i mean when it said when you put it into my notes win at all costs i was like no nah, i mean uh, i'm not there yeah yeah right i'm not i'm not stepping on people uh, to climb the ladder, but I do want to be competitive, and I love being competitive in a team environment. Yes. So yeah. that that kind of helps there. I feel better about talking yeah, about healthy this competition yeah. versus unhealthy competition. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, that's what went through my mind when you said that. Because yeah. you, you are competitive, but it's a it's a very positive, it's very positive on our team, and and even the way you present yourself is not negative at all. It's not like you're trying to win at all costs. You're trying to win. Yeah. And you want us to, to win, but you want to win with the team. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. I feel better. <laughs> Do you want to lay down? Yeah, Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Today's a session for Chris. Leaders, you know better than anyone that growth is essential if you want to make tomorrow better than today. But fitting growth into your calendar takes intentionality and self-discipline. So let Maxwell Leadership help make your growth achievable. You're invited to join thousands of worldwide leaders in using the Maxwell Leadership Growth Plan. The Maxwell Leadership Growth Plan provides you with convenient and easy to implement leadership resources, including video lessons from John Maxwell, all at your fingertips. Available in our Maxwell Leadership app or online, you'll be coached by many well-known leadership experts that will help you achieve your growth goals. You can even listen to this podcast right there in the app. Check it out for free today at Growth dot maxwell leadership dot com that's growth dot maxwell leadership dot com another point of comparison that john brings up is climbers seek power um connectors seek partnerships Mm. and i love this idea about um climbers you know really want uh, power because it helps to climb the corporate ladder faster it uh but you know, working alone, you're not going to do really anything significant. I think of law, John talking about the law of significance, that one is too small a number to do anything of, of real value. Yeah. But connectors seek a partnership. They promote uh, kind of high-powered, highly engaged teams. Uh, they create these teams. Uh, they form partnerships uh, up, down, and across. So I'm thinking, again, almost 360-degree influence is that I'm partnering not only with uh, the people above me, but my peers, uh, the t- people on my team, and my I don't uh, I do have a power dynamic, perhaps because I'm the boss, the leader, but I don't play that power. I don't I'm not trying to amass power for any reason uh, other than to help my team and to, and to really build that that partnership. I think partnerships are are key in uh, when it comes to the progress as uh, a team, as a unit, as an individual inside organizations. And again, to your point, one's too small a number. And I would encourage all of us to to think like that as we think about our, our influence and, and our KPIs as an organization. Also, climbers build their image, connectors build conses- consensus. Mm-hmm. And uh, so this is, we've all had this in, in organizations where we're very aware of those that want people to be very aware of them and what they're accomplishing and their image, right? That tends to be a little bit more of a, a climber's uh, mindset. They want to appear strong and in and, and charge or maybe even a, appear successful when maybe they're not. Mm. Um, it could be a, a false front. But connectors are more concerned with getting people every the, on the team, everybody on the same page. And so they'll figure out how to effectively work together. John talks about this in the law of the common ground. And part of the key, not even part of the main key of, of the common ground is making sure that you have that trust mm-hmm. from from your people. And so if you're on this climbing side and you're worried about your image, believe me, people can smell that out in a heartbeat. And uh, all of our detectors go off when we, when we feel that. And you're not going to get any trust with people around you versus if you think about it from a connection and building consensus, you're going to get the trust from the team. Yeah, I worked with a guy once. Uh, we had we were a successful team, but, man, he was – he would actually say, "No, I'm not doing. We're not going to do that because it would make me look bad." And you think he was so worried about how he looked, and even doing the right thing, mm. he he wasn't going to put that image at risk to do that. Um, finally, last one: uh, the climbers want to stand apart, 
but connectors want to stand together. And I think about climbers wanting to kind of distinguish themselves from everyone else, look uh, in the organization, they want to create separation so that you can see me and I'm the one that's going to make the climb. I'm the one that needs to, if not the team, it's me uh, to do that. But connectors really find a way to get closer with the team that they build that nucleus of a team that they the where they they stand together they win together they lose together uh, I think the leader still stands out but mm. they it doesn't feel like that to a climber they don't see that as standing out they mm. see that as being uh, too much in the in the in the group yeah well let's let's say that you're listening to this and you go man um, Chris I, I actually have kind of a tendency to go the other way than you do where I'm just all about the climbing. You have good intentions behind it, but you, you, you can just tell from ass- assessing where you're at that you're a climber. But then also, let me talk to the other side, which is you say, no, I kind of naturally connect her. There's always ways to improve that as well. I think the art of connecting is key yeah. when it comes to influence. So Perry and I are going to kind of wrap up as we move towards the end of this uh, episode. We're going to talk just about a few ideas of how to become a world-class connector. Here's yeah. uh, five things that you guys can really just think about as takeaways of how do you become a better connector, whether you are a connector already or whether you are kind of have a bent towards climbing the ladder. Number one is to uh, initiate. Don't wait for people to come up to you, right? Initiate, go out and about uh, with the people on your team, figure out, learn, serve them and engage that through initiation. The second one is to ask great questions. Be curious. Okay, we just did a lesson on that. Yep. I would love for you to go back and listen to that if you didn't hear it. It was last week's episode. Um, and go back and learn about why is that a, a miracle skill. And so if you'll initiate and you'll ask great questions from a curious standpoint, that's going to help you connect. Yeah, number three was be interested and stop trying to be interesting. Mm-hmm. That's a Dale Carnegie quote that I just really resonates with me. But leaders, a lot of times, it's so tempting to want others to be interested in you. You're trying to be interesting. Instead, be interested in others. Uh, number four, we talk about this quite a bit, but you know, learn to listen actively. Mm-hmm. Um, giving people the gift of listening to them is the greatest way to show value and connect with people that want to be around people People want to be around people who listen to them. They want to yes. be heard. They want to be noticed. And number five, one of my favorite words mm-hmm. is being teachable, is that people will connect with you if you are go back to being curious. You mentioned that you're trying to learn. You're trying to grow. You're teachable. You don't have all the answers. You invite them to contribute in that, and that makes that, that consensus, that connection, that team play so much more important because we are, we're trying to learn from each other. Yeah, one little add-on there when you talked about be teachable. One of the great uh, connectors that I'm thinking about in my journey is um, was extremely teachable, even at a different level that I was playing with. And what was awesome was they always came back and said, hey, remember we had this conversation and I learned this from you. Let me tell this is what I did with that. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I immediately just drew cl- closer yeah. to that from a connection standpoint. And so um, I just wanted to add that in there. As we wrap up, let me let me leave you with one thought. I want to challenge you in the fact that if you will become a better connector, you'll climb the ladder faster. (laughs) I agree. Right? I mean, now listen, if you want to climb the ladder fast and you don't connect, I guarantee you there's a group of people down there at the bottom that are going to yank that ladder right out from underneath you. That's what John said. You're not going to be successful unless a lot of people want you to be. So there you go. (laughs) So, man, figure out how to be a great connector. And by the way, as a team and as a unit, you guys will climb. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Chris. As a reminder, if you'd like the learner guide for this episode, if you want to learn about our offerings, see the other podcasts in our podcast family, uh, or just leave us a comment or a question, you can do all that at maxwellleadership.com slash podcast. We love hearing from you. Very grateful you'd spend this time with us. That's all today from the Maxwell Leadership Executive Podcast. Mm-hmm.